Sometimes when you import data into Microsoft Excel, or you simply copy and paste data into Excel, you end up with these extra spaces before and sometimes after as well at your actual data. This is but an extreme example you can see here, but I've got extra spaces to the left of the data and in some cases extra spaces to the right of the data as well. Now what I'm going to show you is two ways of getting rid of those unwanted spaces. I'll show you two ways simply because the first way is quick and easy, but the second way will sometimes be necessary because there are examples of when the first way won't work for you. I'll explain why and I'll show you both uh, right away. So first of all, the quickest and simplest way of getting rid of the unwanted spaces from a table such as this. The thing to do is to press Control H. Control H brings up the Find and Replace toolbar. In the top box where it says Find What, make sure that's completely empty, nothing in there, and then type one single space. In the bottom box, Replace With. Again, make sure that is completely empty, nothing in there, and then hit Replace All. And what that's done is to strip out all of the spaces from our data so we're left just with the data. <clears throat> now it looks a little as though there are still spaces to the left of this data, but what Excel does is uh, detect the format of the data. In this case it detects that it's numerical, it's numbers, um, and then automatically right aligns that numerical data. Because normally what you'll want uh, is to have your units lined up, your tens lined up and so forth. We can change that easily of course by highlighting all of these and clicking left align. So you can see that by doing a control H find and replace uh, we can very easily strip out all the unwanted spaces. However, there are instances when that won't work and I'll show you an example now. In this data, we've got a list of names, first names and surnames. Now you can probably tell what would happen if we do a control H find and replace, but I'll demonstrate just in case. Uh, control H, one space and then nothing, replace all. And what we've got now, yes, we've got rid of all of the spaces to the left of the data and we've got rid of all of the spaces to the right of the data. But what we've done is to strip out the spaces between the names. Uh, we've effectively concatenated the names. Concatenated in this context simply means made a mess of. So we don't want to do that. So how do we solve the problem? Well, there's actually a very simple formula we can do which uh, will remove the spaces from the left side and from the right side of the data, but keep the data in the middle itself intact. The formula is simply equals trim, T-R-I-M, then open your brackets and click on A1 in this case, and then close your brackets and press enter. And what that's done is to strip out or trim away the spaces to the left of the name and from the spaces from the right of the name, but it's obviously kept the space in the middle, which is what we wanted. Now we can replicate that formula all the way down this column. Simply click on this cell, move your mouse pointer to the bottom right corner so that it turns into that black cross. Click, drag, let go. So there we have all of those names now without the spaces to the left, without the spaces to the right, but obviously retaining the space in the middle. What about though if you wanted to have these names in this column? You might very well not want to have two columns of names. You've got two choices. Obviously you can right click on the column header and choose delete to remove that column of unwanted names, poorly formatted names. That'll be the quickest, simplest way, but for the sake of this, I'll imagine you've got some of the data lower down here. You don't want to delete that column. Well, what we can do is highlight all of these names and do copy or press Control C, of course. And then what you might be forgiven for thinking is that you could click on A1 and paste. No, you can't. I'll show you why you can't do that. Uh, what we end up with is an error. 
the reason we have an error is that whilst it looks as though this column contains names, it doesn't. What it actually contains, of course, are formulas. And if we copy the formulas from here and paste them into this column, the column is then containing formulas which are trying to refer to the cells the formulas are actually in, uh, which is why we get that reference error. So the way to do it instead is to highlight these cells, copy, then head over to uh, A1, but instead of clicking Paste or Control V, click the menu Paste underneath, and you'll see that you can choose to paste values. Now what this does is it allows the formula to work out what the value is, in this case it's these names formatted as they are, and it will simply paste exactly what you see. You'll lose the formulas, but you will keep the resulting data. So paste values, what we now have in this column are the names, and they are names, they're not formulas, we have no formulas in here at all, but they're formatted of course in the same way they are over here. We can now take all of these and delete them. So we now have our data formatted as we wanted. So two ways there of removing the uh, unwanted spaces, Control H to do a quick find and replace, or using the equals trim function to strip out spaces to the left and right only of the data that we want.